are you? Hello, guys. We're gonna do an all time 11. Well, Armadillo is at least. Yes, it's me, the all powerful me. I'm back again. Done. What have I done? At number one, I've got the one of the greatest openers of his time, Graham Gooch. At number two, I've got the Caribbean legend, Gordon Greenwich. He's very good at making strokes and creating strokes. Yeah, very good at making strokes. Do you even know him? No. Well, anyways, he could make any stroke. Got, there's many very aggressive players, which is why I've opted for Rahul Dravid. The solid wall that he was could completely demolish any other team. At number four, I've got Vivian Richards. He was the king of the Caribbean and was a, a very cool player. He was calm and would have made a great T20 player, but did very, very well and was way ahead of his time. At number five, I've got the prince from the Caribbean, Brian Lara. He was a very good player with a flamboyant back lift. His high score of 400 is the world record to this day. He also got 277, I think, and 226, and 375. He was a truly amazing batsman. This was a big toss-up between Sobers and Callus, but in the end I opted for Callus. Callus was an amazing player. He was an all-rounder, and considering he bowled as many overs as he did, he was a great batsman and a great technician of the game. Toss-up between Sangakara and Gilchrist, I chose Sangakara because he was a brilliant test keeper in his own right and almost beat the Don with so many double centuries. At number 8, I've got Wasim Akram. He started his career as a very good bowler and a good batsman, but he ended his career as a very hard-hitting batsman and the greatest bowler Pakistan had ever had. My next player is Shane Warne, king of leg spin. He was an amazing bowler who could spin the ball from China to Africa. He was a truly amazing bowler. At number 10, I've got Motaya Muralitharan. He has the most wickets to this day, 1,300 and something. And once he got 10 wickets in a match, all of the 10 get wickets in that game which was an amazing bowling spell and one of the greatest of all time. I'm totally wrong, Cole, by the way. At number 11, my final spot, I've got Kurt Lee Ambrose and another Caribbean surprise, surprise. He was amazing. He hit all the right spots at all times. Almost, and it was a toss up between him and Glenn McGrath, but I went for him in the end.